M0FX speed. So I got one of these TFT screens for my jumbo hotspot the other day because I thought it would look nice. And I've got a Raspberry Pi 3B with your typical MMDVM hat. I put it straight on and I'm going to show you how to configure it. So these are my settings. So it's normal Pi Star system, DMR here. We've chosen Nextian and we're using a USB adapter. But if you if you solder it straight to the top of the hat, then you'll be choosing modem, but we've got using a USB adapter and you select in the drop down for next in layout ON7LDS3. That's the one we've chose. I've got my, I've called it PyStar Dual, call sign, DMR, all the usual settings, choosing the correct hat for the type of hat you're using with your Raspberry Pi. And then I've chose BM2341 and put my password in. And that's it, it's all working. So now watch the rest of the video of how we've put this thing together. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I'm just showing you, we've got a Raspberry Pi here, an MMDVM hat. And I bought this little Nextian screen, as I've just shown you where I got that from. And it actually works simplex or duplex. And it's a really nice 2. I think it's 2.2 inch screen. And it shows all the information when people are coming through. There's Make Me TXing, like so. You can see all the list of history, and you've got, this is all preloaded. You are, I am using the Pi Star system, and I'm going to show you the settings. Now to connect it to the, let's just brighten it up a bit here, to, to connect it to the Raspberry Pi 3B, we've used a TTL adapter, but you don't have to, you can, you can solder it to pins on the top there. If you look here, the pins that say 5V, TX, RX and ground, that's where you would put them. Solder the pins there, but otherwise you use an adapter. Now the TTL adapter, it looks like this, if you look at the colours, it's actually from left, red, yellow, blue, and then black. This is how they go on the Nextian screen. It looks very good, as you can see. And the only thing you do is that the RX, which is yellow, on the actual Pi should go to TX. So you put them backwards, and it is marked on the back of the adapter. So that's the back of the adapter, and you can see the RX is blue and TX is yellow. So once you've got that on it, let's show you how to configure it using the Pi.